Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use external service actions to integrate agents with external services. To do this, we start by writing a name credential to authenticate with our third party system. In the context of this demo, we'll be using the GitHub APIs, and I've already prepared a name credential with my personal access token to allow me to access those APIs. The next step is then to create an external service. External services can be created by ingesting an open API schema, OAS, that describes all of the operations uh, that are supported by the service. Now, I've prepared this for GitHub, but let me walk you through how you would create an external service from an API specification. You would need a document, which is called the open API spec, either in JSON or YAML, which describes all of the operations that your API supports. So I'm gonna show you an example with a dummy train service here. And you can see that this schema here describes the different paths that the API supports, the different operations, along with a number of descriptions, the parameters, and the shape of the response. Now, this takes you through another series of steps, and I'm gonna go back now to, to my um, GitHub action, and I will show you what I've ingested. Using the standard provided GitHub open API specification document, I was able to import a number of operations, create issue, create PR list, PR, etc. Now, what's really cool about the open API specification is that it includes the documentation, which is ideal for the agent force use case because the agent is gonna be using these descriptions to configure and understand what the actions are doing. So that's the second step. First, we created the name credential, then we imported the external service and we defined the operations in there. And then we can move to our agent. Now, I've already prepared the topic here, a GitHub Assistant topic. And in this topic, I have added my GitHub API actions. So these are simply added by going in new, create new action, selecting the API type, and then going into external services. And from there, you'll find all of the actions that you have imported thanks to your external service. So again, I did this to save a bit of time, but now I can show you what we can do finally. Now, for the demo today, we're gonna to be working with a repository that I've created ahead. This is my sample repository. You can see that there's a blank readme for now, and we have a couple of pull requests that are waiting. One of them here um, is adding a nice cover image for our readme. So let's see how we can use Agent Force to do this. So first of all, I'm gonna ask the agent to list the pull request for my repository. Notice that I've given it the end URL of my repo, POZL, and then the repo name. And based on this, it was able to figure out that we were talking about GitHub. It was able to list the pull requests from my repository. You can see here, this is the raw API response that it got back from the GitHub APIs. And it was able to format this conveniently. Now I can double check this to make sure that this is indeed the right PR by clicking on this one. I will open it in a new tab and we'll, we'll see if it does work. Yep, that's the right one. Now, let's see how we can go further and modify the repo by asking it to merge the PR number 15 that adds the cover image. Now, as a best practice, when I set up this action to merge the PR, I've also asked it to prompt me for confirmation. And you can see here that it's prompting me for confirmation. So I will confirm the PR merge and we can go back to our repository, making sure that it did work. So you can see that the action works. There's a GitHub API response here, confirming the pull request merged. And let's see on our repository now, you can see the PR is now merged. We can see if we go back to the nice little landing page that we got our cover image. And that's it. That's how you can integrate Agent Force with third party systems. All of this without running a single line of code. Code that you don't have to write is also code that you don't have to maintain or test. I hope that you've enjoyed it and thank you for watching.